Hey guys, Scott from the Runners Flat testing out the new Tika R Plus. Hey, Petzl's coming out with a bunch of new models. Essentially, uh, January, February is what they're slated 2014. So I've been on the list and got one in the other day. That's I've had this about two weeks. Rechargeable lithium ion, uh, USB rechargeable. You can put it in the wall or put it in your computer. 170 lumens. 75 bucks. So what you'll see across the board, even from Petzl and their versions that are less expensive than this, is that the lumens are going up. They're finding ways to make them for the same price that a $55 headlamp this year compared to last year is like 20 lumens brighter. All right. So everything's getting you know more bang for your buck. This is the Tika R Plus, fully reactive. And what that means is. This section right here is a sensor, and so when you have it on the reactive lighting, you're not only saving battery life, but you're also letting this adjust to light. So if you're running on the streets and it's dark out, and then you run underneath a street light, what you'll find is that this will dim down a little bit, so the light level is the same throughout. So you're saving a little damage to your eyes having to adjust and stuff like that, so hopefully you're keeping your eyes not so tired. Uh, if I turn this baby on, okay, it's reactive lighting, so you can see that as I close the sensor, all right? Cool thing was, I was worried about, it. well, how do I get it set? There's a low, medium, and a high, even on the reactive. And so what you can set that is, you know, how much light do you want? Then the side button here will change that from reactive to constant, low, medium, high. And that's not then changing because you're on constant light. So what they recommend, depending on how fast you're going, what you're doing, if I'm mountain biking, obviously I want it constant. I don't want it changing because I want to see where I'm going. Same thing with running, depending on how fast you're running or if you're racing versus doing a long run or your conditions. Are you on the street or are you on the trail? And what do you want to do? So really cool stuff so far. I've had it out uh, below zero temp snowshoeing at nighttime. I've uh, actually got stuck in the rain one morning in it. It was super wet. Everything's been great. I had no issues. It charges good. And when it, the charge comes down to the last little bit of half hour or something, it'll flash on you and it decreases to try to save that last hour of light for you so you don't get stuck totally in the dark. Also has red okay, uh, and a red flash on there. So once I got into it and charged it and realized how it worked, very simple, very easy to use, and it's still real lightweight. It's not heavy. Um, new head system here. I tried. I thought, how do they do that? But they figured it out. So this stays in the center here, and with that, like goggles. When you're swimming, you have a, a top and a bottom. It's very comfortable, and it doesn't move at all. So that's the Tika R Plus. Been very happy with it. Looks like it's going to be pretty bomb-proof. And with the light, it goes up to 170 lumens. Go green, recharge it, so you don't have to buy batteries. In the end, you're going to save money. Petzl, Tika R Plus. Stay tuned. we got all kinds of videos coming.